And we are back. Nimmer and Deer coming in for um, another segment of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. When last we left our hero, Helwig the Last Warrior, and his uh, companions, currently being, you know, currently walking point would be Sela the Paladin of Yamade. We were it in the no shield trouble. maze, trying desperately to keep the Neethers from dying. And it looks like we have stumbled onto um, something bad. We have a corrupted mongrel brute and another corrupted... Oh gosh, I said mongrel instead of neither. I'm so sorry, people. Um, we got another couple of corrupted neithers, assuming there's only two of them in here. So, there is obviously no, you know, no guarantee that is the case. But... On my way. And they're not very observant. Uh... Get another obstacle. Oh, oh wow, he like insta- what? He like insta-raged. That's- that's concerning. Um, so. Well, let's- let's try to misfortune him. Yeah, he made his save, cause he- like I said, yeah, he- he went into- Yeah. I don't know, he just kinda stood there. I don't know, is that- yeah, that's- they're- they're more- yeah, they're more of the corrupted neithers. Okay. I don't really want to do anything else, so yeah. Um, Camellia, you sit there. Sela, um, yeah, we'll try it again. Again, not likely to work, but since he went into rage, I want him to come to me. I want him to waste actions running at me. So, did it work this time? Hey, it succeeded. So he's uh, actually a feared a little bit. That's nice. Uh, can I look at him? So, he's flat-footed because he hasn't acted yet, and he should also... It says he's a, he's a dwarf. I'm, I, I beg... Oh, that's the ranger. Okay. I was thinking. Yeah, so he's shaken, and he raged, and he's got power attack on him, so yeah, he's built like I am. Uh, yeah, he's a barbarian is pretty much what it comes down to, so, okay. And, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's all we're doing, because I want, like I said, I want that clown to run at me. If Lan beats him in initiative, which may be the case, I will kind of five-foot step her, like, right here. But that's as much as I'm doing, because, like I said, I want him to have to use a move to get to me. All right. Uh... Similarly, Lan, I want you to five foot step over this way. So you have a clear shot at this guy. Oh god, I don't have to turn off point blank shot to get it. So that's fine. We can turn it back on once he's in range. You've crossed the wrong mongrel! Oh, come on, he's raging, his AC's down, and I managed to miss twice. Oh, good night, game. Okay. Them's dice, huh? And, yep, missed Sela. Uh, I, like I said, I don't want to run in on these people. So, they're... I'm gonna demoralize the other guy, see if that works. Hey, it worked, he's shaking. Okay, so, I got that in effect. Awesome. And, yeah, like I said, I don't want to go forward. I want this guy to have to run at us. Okay. So, uh... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that, uh, days probably isn't gonna work. But... Yeah, I've got a feeling I need to take days off the thing here. Because, yeah, it's like, it feels like all the humanoids are already... Oh! No, they're immune because they're monstrous humanoids. They're the wrong creature type. Days only works on, like, goblins or hobgoblins. The fact that these neethers are monstrous humanoids actually makes them immune. So it's not as bad as I thought, but still bad. Um, anyway. I mean, it's not really Daze is one of those spells that you, you don't use for long, anyway. But, well, we'll move her up. And do a, do the usual, let's Guidance Sela up. Alright. Yeah, I can Guidance Sela from there. Okay. Alright. And now... What do I want Sela to... 
I'm guessing guidance just gets used automatically, because I have no idea. I need to look to figure that part out. I've been casting the guidance. I don't, you know, in, in regular tabletop Pathfinder, you have the option of when to use it. I'm guessing it just automatically gets used on your next... Take you. Really? Really? Why do I need a 13 to hit this guy when he's... Like, I've debuffed him a couple of different ways. Good night. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, so that's not great. So, uh, yeah, land. Maybe we can hit him now. That'd be great. You can we hit him? Survive me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we did 11 points of damage in total, which was barely anything off his health bar. This is problematic. I should have turned on point blank shot. Let me go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. I messed that up. That was my bad. Okay. So, Hellwig, I'm hoping I can get by without having to use my, uh... Out of my way. All right, 16 damage on that one, and he only needed a 7 for the hit. That's nice, and that's even with power attack up. He looks worse now. That's what I was hoping for. Because now he gets to... Yeah, he missed twice. Good. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Um... I can misfortune the ranger, maybe? That'd be good. Hey, he failed his save. Fantastic. And let me move Camellia up into a flank. Oh, now I guess, no, because I don't need to. I don't need to move her up into a flank. I'm just going to squeeze her over this way. Yeah, get her, out of a, get her out of the line of fire. She can keep moving, so, okay, sure. All right. So, Sela. The inheritor. Why am I needing to roll so high for C I guess because of the defensive fighting. I mean, I would turn it off, but it's the only thing keeping her from just getting mulched. So, okay. And I don't want to do anything else. At least I don't want to smite these guys. So I got point blank shot on. Okay. Endure this. Two in it. Okay. Oh, good night. That's <laughs> no fun. No fun game. Um, all right, so the ranger is going to get lucky eventually. Um, move Hellwig up just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then attack. Die! And Nat won something against a seven. Oh, good night. Uh, yep. Well... Uh, what else does she have available? Um, I don't really, because I've already used her misfortune on both people. Um, what else does she have in her spell book? Might be useful here. Um, I've got Bless. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not use Bless on this fight if I can. Um, let's see. He is going to make that save, so I think I'm just going to do a Guidance on, uh, on Hellwig. So. So first I want her to move out this way. So. Then I want her to Guidance Hellwig. Okay. I mean, granted, Guidance won't help if I roll another nat 1, but... Alright. Hey, she got a hit in that time. Awesome. Okay, so he is looking really bad, which is good, because he gets to flurry, and that's, you know, not a good thing. Um, okay. So, Lan, it'd be great if you could Make end this. every strike count. Well, no, missed on the second one. Cause I'm having to use so many actions to bring this guy's hit points down. All right, Hellwig, please. You need like a six. Alright. Dag, he's still up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, miss. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna chance it. Here. The spirits demand your blood. 
Why is he still up? Is he a... He's a... He's like a half-orc or something? I don't know. Oh, maybe he has something that he, like, he actually stays up and keeps fighting until he's, like, dead-dead? Like, so he takes extra damage? I don't know. Um, I'm very confused now, to be perfectly honest. I don't... I, I don't understand why this guy is still fighting. Um... The light take you. Yeah, of course she missed, but yeah, okay. Like I said, yeah, the ranger just gets to keep like you know. You've crossed the wrong seven line. versus eight. Good, double miss. Come on, people. Oh. Yeah, I'm guessing it was like a half orc ferocity thing or something. Um, yeah, ra ranger, you're about to have a very bad day. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> it could have gone worse, but... So, hmm. Trying to figure out. Yeah, because I don't think I can daze him, right? Yeah, because, yeah, it's the monstrous humanoid thing. But, um, hmm. What should I do? Seal is actually pretty hurt. I'm going to use one of my spells on this. Okay, there we go. Alright. So there we go. She is back up. Sela. Can you get... Looks like you can get to this no guy. So. Without risk. Yeah, he's... He's looking bad. Um, And he's gonna... He's either gonna have to step back or he's gonna provoke AOOs like nobody's business. When he, uh... I hope I didn't move far enough out. No, I think I can still attack, right? Yeah, so he's got point blank shot on, so Yes. You won't survive me. Well, he did survive you, Lan. I hate to break it to you. Um I am curious if he's gonna try to chuck a dart and like provoke from both of my yeah. melee attackers. Together we stand. Yeah. Um uh, and he missed to boot. Poor guy. Uh what does he have here? The brute is this is what the brute have? A ring. I, it's not identified yet. Okay. Um, so we'll just take the ring. Potion of bark skin. That's good. Bonus to natural armor is nice. A dart. Okay. We have a container to loot. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but I mean, I've already collected plates and mugs, right? So, I mean, it's, it just seems right. That I take a that I take a fork. This is simple. I'm kind of curious about the ring. Um, kind of, do, how do I identify magic items in this game anyway? Um, can, it, can I attempt to identify? Yeah, no, no. It's either equip or drop. There are no in betweens. I was hoping there was like a like you know in inside the context menu and identify item you know i think my problem may be that i don't have anybody who has I help do i have again. anybody who has detect magic where's camellia where's your spell book does she have i guess i don't even know yeah in in tabletop pathfinder the play is usually um the is usually to cast detect magic and then make a uh, skill check to identify a uh, you know I think it was spellcraft in first edition. Um, in the current in second edition Pathfinder, you can just use whatever your spellcasting or like related skill is. So for Camellia, it would be religion since she's a shaman. But hmm, yeah, those uh, yeah. So she does not have detect magic. I might need to take out one of these other things she's got, assuming she has access to it. Ver resistance is... Resistance isn't bad. Virtue is pro yeah, a single temporary hit point. It's probably not worth my standard action, a so that's probably what I should do to identify the ring. But I'll see what I can do. All right. So we've cleared out this area of Neethers who have succumbed to corruption. There was a door on this end that leads to something. 
And we still had a door we could have explored back in the creepy torture den. Lead on. So, I can see a torch on the other side. We'll pretend that's not visible. Uh, it's always good to it's always good to save before going through a door like this, right? Let's pretend we're not on actually on the tabletop where you don't just get to retcon stuff. Well, this is just a empty storage room. This this yeah, screams there's either game. something in there's like there's either loot or there's a trap. Or there's an ambush. It turns out there were a bunch of things. So some money, some more potions. And we we have just one Pathfinder, ladies and gentlemen. We have found a cheese wheel. I I feel like I could there should be like a trophy that unlocks when I collect this cheese wheel and like the credits roll. I mean who cares what, you know, Descari does to Mendev? I've got cheese. I'm, I'm thinking I'm supposed to have taken a lot of damage in here. They're, they're, they are chucking Cure Light Wounds potions at me like they're, like, party favors. Um, so two porcelain plates. Yeah, well, we'll take some plates. Another first aid kit. Awesome. Uh, pick a lock here. Uh, Melia, can you pick the lock? I am helpful, am I not? Uh, yeah, yes, you are. You're totally helpful. Some honey. The good news is, honey would not have gone bad no matter how long it's been in here, because that's that's how honey works. So, I've got an animal hide that I can sell, some money. Two more potions of cure light wounds. It is no trouble. And we have a door right here. Whoops, that wasn't the one Rely I wanted to hit. On me. So this leads us upward into something else. On my way. Those are some stairs down. Okay, let's, let's see what's down the stairs. I don't like the choke point the stairwell is producing. There's another door. This is you simple. Ever, if you ever saw the movie Clue, I'm kind of getting this feel. What another door? And I'm eventually just like now I'm like it really is kind of like the movie. Tim Curry walked into a shower. You know, and accidentally turned it on, thinking that the shower was another doorknob. Um, I'm wondering if I should explore... Which way is it got me facing now? I keep hitting the wrong thing. So... That is looking back in the direction that we were in? I don't know. It really is a maze. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Neophyte fighters and the hand of Hosilla. I wish I could close the door, but yeah, no, we're 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 not going in there. We're open your heart to me. We're gonna, yeah, we're, we're all gonna come back this way. Um, we will win this war. Yeah, we're, we're, we're if I win this war, we're gonna go back this way for a minute. Uh, yeah, we're not going through that door, I'll people. See what I can do. That that thing had a, as you say, that creature had a name. We don't trust just in randomly running into things with names while we're... Apparently, the torture den is... Is our... Pr <laughs> the, the torture den had Lead something on. else for us. Okay. I did not notice this before. We did not, we did not get a skill check to identify that... I mean, I guess the idea is, gee, it's a, it's a Baphomet thing. Um... Yeah, the shield maze is not it a nice no place, trouble. is what we've gotten out of this. So, we're coming back into the torture room. Although it's a torture room with some very fine musical instruments. Is that because there's like a harp? It looks like a some flutes or something up On there? My way. All right. And this way, what do we have? Another neophyte fighter. Okay, so... So it's hard to tell which way we're supposed to be going here. But, uh... But we'll step in. There's another door. I'm waiting for, like, you know, the classic, like, Pathfinder, like, dog-piled encounters thing to happen. Blood. Was this one fighter really by himself? There's no... Is he seriously... I'm gonna... I'm cheesing it. Combat log. No, there's like two, three other guys in here. Okay, I just can't see them yet. My, they're off in these all-concealing shadows. Okay, so who's up first? 
Camellia? Oh, Camellia won initiative? Okay, well, Camellia, you do your thing. Misfortune the fighter. Yeah, he made his save. Because of course he did. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance and have to seal a charge. To see if we can, you know, get this, uh... <laughs> oh, and, and she can roll a two. <sighs> All right. The good news is... Seriously, Helwig? Um... Okay. I'm trying to map my movement out here. So, so if I move over here... I think I can still hit this guy. Okay. And he, j wow. Um, did did I? I think I I hit him into that table. Like he is now one with the nightstand. Helwig was not a very nice man to that neophyte fighter. I mean, he's probably some kind of Baphomet cultist. I'm pretty sure he deserves it. But I'm guessing there's another sharpshooter over in this other shadowy corner, unless he's going to run through this door and ambush me. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, uh, let's see here. That should be Helwig's turn. He moved and he, uh... Alright, so... Let's see. Turn off point blank shot, because I don't want to... Let's see here. Just step up five feet. Yep, have land. Step up five feet so he can... And then we will full round the ranged attack. Endure this! And do seven damage, which, to be fair, compared to that, you know, Neither Brute guy from earlier, like, seeing a couple of arrows do seven damage and it be over half a health bar is kind of pleasant, not gonna lie. Um, Alright, this Neophyte fighter slowly plods forward. He may have to double move at the pace he's running. Yeah, he didn't get a chance to shoot. And... <laughs> That's how some of my attack rolls have felt. You see this arrow right here, folks? Yeah, that's how I've felt. Um, well, Camellia. Yeah, you can... You could reach the Neophyte Fighter. And he's Misfortune. So he is he is in Frowny Town. He is, in, he is severely in Frowny Town now. Uh, so, Sela. Just, you know... Into the fray. Good night, Sela. Okay. Um, switch to a five-foot step, Helwig. Yeah, there we go. And would you hose this guy? No, I because I will not one. Oh, good gracious. Okay. Make every strike count. One damage, <laughs> and then another nat one. That's. It just seems that there's a lot more ones on my d20s. Is anyone else noticing that? I mean, in fairness, there's more nat ones on their dice, too. But, uh, okay. So. I'm gonna move up. Actually, here. I'll move up. Yeah. Camellia's gonna move over here where she's got some, uh, protection. And then she's gonna misfortune a sharpshooter. So. Yeah. Hey, neophyte sharpshooter. On the off chance you're still... I probably should have tar... Hey, made a save anyway, so... All right, Sela. I'm half tempted just to like demoralize the fighter and see if yeah. Let's just do that. Jeez, yeah. Here, I'm just gonna see if I can make him shaken. Um, I do kind of yeah. And that's yeah. Oh well, I tried. Like I said, yeah. These you know, lousy attack rolls are just. Let's you know, hear you cry. Good gracious, the single digits. Okay. <sighs> All right. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. One damage. One damage again. Oh, this is a slog. Okay. <laughs> oh, he, he got close. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't want to use any of those things. Oh. 
Oh no, I don't want to move her out that way. So yeah, here. I have to step out in this direction. Now can I reach for the misfortune? Yeah, yeah I can get there. I'll, I'll go ahead and have her step forward to... And he made his save. Good night. Okay. All right. So, uh, see you looking. Right. Take you. That's this is hurt. This is hurting. Okay. Run them through. At least I, f I finally hit someone. It's you know, well, well, I'm, I shouldn't be. That's not that's not fair. Lan's hitting this guy. He's just doing one damage a hit. So. You won't survive me. All right. Finally got finally got the sharpshooter down. Okay, so yeah, we'll step land forward five feet, and his turn. Because yeah, eventually, the, eventually these guys are that guy needs a nat twenty to to hit. Okay, sure. You are today's sacrifice. Got a nat twenty. How much damage did she do with a crit? Uh. Oh, sorry, I, for I keep forgetting they're not automatic crits. You have to do confirmation things, so she has to do it twice. It's just an automatic hit in that setting. Okay, so... He's still up somehow or another. Um. Okay, so... Malin Camellia's turn. The Come on, Cam Thank you, Sila. Oh, good night. Okay. And then we'll just move 20 feet forward. All right. Hellwood, can you charge that guy? That'd be nice. Can I can I get to him with a? Ch I can get to him with a charge. Oh, hang on. I think my uh, charge lane's blocked. Yeah, Camellia standing there has blocked Hellwig's charge lane. Oh well. So, so what I'll do instead is move up this way. Yep. And I'll try to demoralize him. And it worked on him. Yeah, he is, uh, yeah. So, he, so he is, he is, he is not happy. Okay. So, that's him. I'm trying to figure out, uh, how far do I have to move to be able to point blank shot this guy? Okay, just right there. Sure. Endure yeah, we'll do this. that. Okay. So, he took some damage. See who he targets. He's got to. He's got to be feeling a little, a little concerned at this point. So, uh, I'm somewhat surprised that. Yep. Yeah, so we'll come up here and guidance Hellwig. All right. I'll confess, I'm probably using cantrips more than I should be. It, uh, I'm used to second ed Pathfinder where they're a bit more useful, but um, but yeah, that's I can't charge because yeah, there's a uh, there's stuff in the way. All right, so come over here, <laughs> come over here and see if I get cover for you know positioning Sela next to the thing. It probably doesn't matter much, but uh, yeah, we'll just end her turn. Because Hellwig um, gets to move up and destroy this guy. Hopefully. Yeah, he's he. We just mulched another guy into a nightstand. And what are these guys carrying? A heavy crossbow. That's actually worth a little money. A dagger. Some leather armor. I don't really think that's yeah. That's that's not worth picking up. I don't think. Um. This guy probably same stuff. Yeah. Leather and a dagger. Yeah. I'll right. see what I can do. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, we got a couple of neophyte fighters here. Be nice if these guys had like master. It's a masterwork short sword. That's and just a club and some scale mail. No, that's not worth picking up. Lead on. Like the giblets of the uh, of the first fighter. Like he just left a bag here. We we hit him so hard that like it's just a bag. But um. He didn't it have anything no of trouble. value on him. That's sad, really. Oh, there's a chest back here. Well, that's worth checking out. 
Uh, can we pick the lock? I hope you appreciate this. I do appreciate it, Camellia. Some gold powder, money, and a potion of shield of faith. On my okay. way. So that so I'm, I'm my suspicion. Oh God, that he's just kind of ragdoll in there. Uh, I don't see any other lootable containers or anything in here. Okay. So yeah. So we made it through another encounter, We've about the half hour mark, and that's taking us back toward like the other side of that passage. So uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn on which way I'm supposed to be going here. Through the actual like nice-ish parts that are like the Baphomet cult, or the area where we saw that weird hand of Hodilla person or something, I don't know. Looks like it's a good place to press pause and uh, revisit, you know, what Hellwig and company get up to in our next video. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of the series if you want to see what's brought us into this shield maze nightmare. Nimrin Deer will catch you next time.